Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube and I haven't made a video in a while, but I want to get back into it. So, I just ate a giant cookie and some jelly beans. I got my brain working and we're going to do some problems today. Um, this one is search in a 2D matrix. Um, and it's... So hopefully you guys know about searching. Um, so let's let's get an example here, right? So in a sorted array, so actually, let's first of all, in a unsorted array, you just kind of have to do a brute force usually and kind of loop through the whole array and find something, right? If you're looking for the number seven in a number, in a, um, you know, a hundred numbers that are all kind of random numbers, then you're probably going to, um, have to just loop through the whole thing, and yeah, that's it. Now, if it's sorted in a simple sorted array, like let's say this one, let's just take this one for example. Um, this is a sorted array, so what if we wanted to find the number 11, right? You could go loop through the thing with a for loop and go, is this 11, 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 is this, 11? Is this? oh, it is, okay, we got it. But that's going to be like, what, six times or something before you find it? But you could also do a binary search, which is logarithmic uh, runtime compared to linear, where you search through everything. Logarithmic, you cut out half the search space each time, so we would look at the middle element. We'd say, okay, we're in seven, and this is only for sorted arrays, so... If it's sorted, you can do this and it's way faster. So we see, oh, seven is in the middle. Well, I'm looking for 11, so I know it's gotta be on the right side. And then you look at the middle of, you're just like, okay, it can't be over here, so you just delete it basically. And then you look on this side and you're like, oh, look, 11 right in the middle. So you just check the middle each time and then you make a decision to cut out a half of the search space. That's logarithmic and it's way faster. So I didn't even know this until I just did this problem, but you can actually do, and it makes sense, I guess if I thought about it, I would have figured it out, but um, you can actually just do a logarithmic uh, binary search in a 2D array too. You just have to do a little math on the indices. So you can just imagine this as a 1D array. Um, you can kind of imagine it like this. And that would be, it's kind of the same exact thing. We just have these extra subarrays that are just kind of there. So we have to use indices to find the right spot. So let's explain it as we go. So first of all, we'll just do if matrix.length is equal to zero, we'll just return false. And then in like every other 2D array problem, we'll just get our number of rows. So we'll do matrix.length, we'll get our number of columns, uh, matrix of zero dot length, and we will start our binary search. So hopefully you guys are familiar with the binary search. You have a left, you have a right. Um, right is usually the very end of the array. So in this case, we would imagine, you know, in a 1D array, you would just say, okay, it's just the length of the array minus one, because we're going to be doing it by indices. In this, we're going to do the length and width of the array multiplied to get to the last element. So right, it would be four times three, that would give us 12, so that's the 12th element, and we're just gonna do minus one because the first element's always zero, like indice-wise. So we'll do right is equal to rows times columns, minus one, minus one is just the index thing, right? Because the first index is zero. Hopefully you guys, you should know that if you're doing a medium leak code problem. So regular binary search here, right? While left is less than or equal to right, you calculate a midpoint, so the middle element of the array, and we're imagining it as 1D array, so we have the last element of all of, we have this bottom right corner, and we have this top left corner, right? Left is the top left, right is the bottom right, and we want the middle. So we're gonna grab something like 11, right? So we'll do midpoint is equal to left plus, okay, this is the regular way that people don't understand. Um, this is how you do it, okay? Right, left plus right minus left divided by two. It's not just, right divided by two, it's not just like something like that. It's left plus right minus left divided by two for integer overflows. We don't have to get into it. This is just how you get the middle element. Just accept it. It's If you have a huge number in certain languages, you have to write it like this. It's not length of the array divided by two, dude. If, you're, if you do that, it's kind of wrong. So there's languages where the numbers get too big and it could mess it up seriously bad and make the numbers negative. Integer overflow is what it's called. 
And then in this case, we're going to, so in a regular binary search, let's just say we would do something like this. If array of midpoints is equal to target, return true. Else if target is less than array of midpoint, we'd return, we would set left equal, then, no, 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 then we know it's on the left side, so we'd set right equal to midpoint minus one, else if target is greater than array of midpoint, we would say left equals midpoint plus one. Hopefully this makes sense. So in a regular binary search, we would do, we'd have a sorted array, and we would check the middle element. If it's equal to what we're looking for, we found it, so we say true. Otherwise, if it's less than the middle element, then like I said, we're gonna just be like, okay, it's not on the right side, so we'll just look on the left side. And then we, so we set the right, the right pointer, it would go from, you know, 50 to like 11, and we would just keep searching on the left side, right, for whatever we're looking for. If we're looking for three, we would see, okay, 11, it's less than 11, so we only search on this side, this is basically garbage. And the same thing for the other thing, if it was 34, we'd search at 11, and then we'd look for 34, right? Okay. But we can't do this here, right? Because this is a matrix and we have to specify row and column indices. So what we want to do is actually just calculate the midpoint element. So what is the midpoint element? The midpoint element is equal to matrix of, and when we calculate the midpoint element, we can now do this. If the midpoint element is equal to the target, then we return, we found it. If it's less than mid, if the target's less than the midpoint element, we'll do the same thing. And if target's greater than the midpoint element, it's the same exact thing. We just have to calculate the element and do the right calculations on the matrix indices, right? Because you can't, the midpoint, right? The midpoint for this array from zero to 12, that is zero plus 12 minus zero divided by two. That's like six, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like 16 or 11 or something like that. Actually, we did minus one. So it's 11, right? Um, right is minus, so right isn't 12, it's 11. So zero plus 11 divided by two, right? So the, we're at 11 right now, right? But you can't just do matrix of five. Matrix of five is not, that would be the fifth row. There's not five rows, does that make sense? Like in this case, we have to do a row and a column. If we just did matrix of five, which are, so our midpoint, midpoint is five, in the midpoint value is equal to 11. Like you can't just say matrix of five though to get this value, you know? Like it has to be a row and a column. So we would actually need matrix of one and one, right? It's one, one, that's 11. It's not five, right? See, it's the zero, this is zeroth row, this is the first row, first row, first column, right? So that's 11, that better make sense now. And to get that value, this is all you have to do. You just have to do, it's equal to midpoint divided by column to get the row, divided by columns to get the row, and midpoint modulus columns to get the column. And if you think about that, it really should make sense to you. I had to think about it for like probably a 30 seconds or something before it made sense. Uh, I'll explain it to you. I just want to make sure it works. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay. What did we do? Did I spell something wrong? Yes. Midpoint. No, we want midpoint. So, sorry about that. Let's do this one more time. Hey, we got it. Okay, perfect. So, that's the binary search. 100% of solutions, we beat it. And the midpoint element, why do we have to do this? Well, let's look. The midpoint would have been five, right? So five is 11, right? So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So to get this in a 2D array, we would do five divided by columns. And what is columns? Columns is one, two, three, four, five divided by four, that's gonna give us like one point something, but it's gonna, we're just gonna, it rounds down to one. So we got one. And then modulus columns is five modulus columns, five divided by four, is one remainder one, so we get one one here. Now, if you just think about it, you have to divide to get the row number. You The midpoint divided by columns will easily give us the row number because it'll, 
the the number of rows it's so it's so obvious it's almost impossible to explain like the midpoint divided by the number of columns is just like obviously that's going to give us the number of rows and modulus the number of columns gives us the position i don't really even know how to explain it any better than that like it's so obvious please just like look at it and like think about it i mean um just because like if it's five and you divide by it's so hard to explain these things sometimes like and you divide by it's like it's a new row every time you hit four like there's four column there's four columns in this right so once we're path past the fourth indices so we're at the fifth one for this midpoint once we're past the fourth past the fourth one that's one row right so if we went to eight that's two rows so if we went to 12 that's three rows right so if you do five divided by, if you do the midpoint value in a 1D array divided by the columns, you're going to get the perfect row. Like other than that, that's pretty obvious. Please understand that. Like I really hope you do. And then modulus is pretty straightforward to get where it is in that column too because it's just how much it went past. So if it's five and there's four columns, then we know it's in the first row. And then we had one remainder after that division. So it's in the first column too. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I think I explained it well enough, but yeah, that's how you do a binary search. I didn't even know you could do a logarithmic binary search in a 2D array. So when it's sorted, you can, I guess that's pretty obvious, but um, thank you guys for watching. I think this is a useful thing to know and I'll see you guys next time.